this video, let's take a look at the steps necessary to create a sun study for the conceptual massing so that we can begin to take advantage of some of the BIM capabilities that Revit allows us. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to come down to our view control bar because it'll allow us to access some of the same project location settings. The first thing we want to do is we want to set up the location for our project. I'm going to come to Sun Settings. By default, lighting is active, but let's come up to our single day study, for example. Our still single and multi day options are all going to bring up this location field. I'm going to click here. It's going to take us into our Google Maps menu. And I'm just going to put in a, a more regional area for this project address um, but we can be as specific as we can so I'm going to put in Harrisburg Pennsylvania here and just click search now you can see it has us located here when we come to our weather tab you'll see use closest weather station is checked I'm going to leave that active for Harrisburg capital city airport is where it's finding based on that location the last site tab allows us to go ahead and define a true north versus project north. We're not going to deal with that in this video, but we will revisit that in a future video. So I'm going to click OK now that we have our internet mapping service project address defined. And the next step down here, we can, we can predetermine the date that we would like our solar study to be based on. You'll see this is in session, and I can modify this to any date that I would like to. Just kind of scroll through the calendar. Do Jane, July 1st, for example. I'm going to check sunrise to sunset just so that I get a few full view. But if we're interested in just a particular time range, we can specify that as well. As far as time interval, you'll see that 15 minutes is going to allow us a much longer sun study that's you know that's taking one frame you'll see the frame numbers actually changing so right now we have 15 every 15 minutes it's giving us a frame from sunrise to sunset and as I reduce that to 30 minutes the number of frames is cut in half and so forth and so forth so let's leave this at 15 minutes so that we are able to view the Sun at a decent pace from sunrise to sunset. And lastly, we're going to leave our ground praline checked. The simple topography surface that we created is at level one. So we're going to leave that checked for this. If we wanted to evaluate our winter or summer solstice or our spring or fall equinox and study those times, those presets are already set. So let, actually, let's take a look at our fall equinox for this. You'll see it that already went and changed our date and time. I'll check sunset again. And I'm going to bring that to every 15 minutes based on that preset. And now I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Now you'll see I still need to come back down to my view control bar and make sure that I click to turn on my shadows. Now we're ready to see what this solar study looks like. So I'm going to click right here and you can see we now it's going to bring up a play menu in our options bar and if I just go ahead and click play now you'll see Revit runs through the preview of that Sun solar study. Now that we have created this single day solar study, the next step, let's export this to an AVI that will allow us to continue to view this. Revit does not store your solar study animations by default. You have to export them 
and use them for your reference. Store them somewhere where you can use them for future. So I'm going to come down to export. Then I'm going to come all the way down to images and animations. And you'll see solar study. I'm going to click on that. Brings up my length and format menu. We're just going to come down and change the frames per second. You'll see the total time is only three seconds. I like to create a video with a little bit more length, kind of dragging out the shadow so that I can study it at another time. So I'm going to change this to five frames per second, which is going to give us about a 10 second video. The visual style, if I wanted to change that, I would change it, but I'll leave that hidden line. And I want to include a date and time stamp because that's going to allow me to see exactly what time it is as the shadows are kind of casting across the site. So let's click OK. Now I just need to specify a place that this AVI, I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. And I can name this Solar Sun Study. conceptual massing let's click OK I'm just going to ask you one more question this video compression menu I'm going to leave this fully uncompressed and just click OK and you'll see Revit will actually go through and generate this frame by frame what it is doing is rendering this to create that animation frame by frame and once Addis Bar shows complete, then Revit will have saved my solar study animation to the hard drive. Okay. Revit has completed generating the frames for my animation. I hope this video has been helpful.